I'm glad that you tuned in today. Today I am making vegan quesadillas, so stay tuned. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Magda Civil, health and fitness motivator. For those of you who are interested in fitness recipes, healthy recipes or fitness vlog, please make sure that you go ahead and click subscribe so you can stay in tune with all of the videos that I upload. Currently, I am 20 weeks, oh, not 20 weeks ago. Currently, I'm 21 weeks pregnant and I love to cook. This is one of my things, I love to cook. Some people just uh, ask me, well, what are you doing? How do you maintain uh, from the cravings? It's all about preparation during the pregnancy. So right today, I am going to make vegan quesadillas because I often neglect my vegan followers. I'm so sorry. And everybody keeps asking me to make a vegan recipe. So this is gonna be a vegan recipe, mostly vegan. So the ingredients that I'm going to be using today is baby portobello mushrooms already washed. I have them washed and sliced, some chopped yellow onions, chopped parsley, chopped garlic, I have a half of avocado. You can use vegan cheese. I didn't have vegan cheese, but vegan shredded cheese would be preferable for vegans, of course. So now let's show you how to make this vegan quesadilla. Oh, and I forgot one more ingredient, hummus. I didn't want to keep it sitting out. So I'm gonna grab the hummus out of the fridge. That's gonna be another ingredient. So come on and let's start preparing all of this. Let's go prepare this on a stove top. All of the ingredients you can mix or put on the pan, right? So the first thing that we do, spray non-stick coconut oil. Some people like to use butter, um, but again, if you're not vegan, using butter would be an option. You can use vegan butter if that's something that you like, but I only have coconut oil spray, so I wanna keep this as close to vegan as possible. So we're using coconut oil spray on the pan first, and then the mushrooms go in first. I like using, the, I'm using the baby portobello mushrooms instead because it has a thicker texture. Baby portobello mushrooms have a thicker texture that reminds of, of meat. So most of vegan dishes or some vegan dishes will replace meat with uh, portobello mushrooms, which is amazing. And I love to add the onions, the garlic and parsley now, because what happens is with mushrooms, they tend to get watery once they fully cook. So I want the flavors to really soak into, I want the mushrooms to become very flavorful. So right now, instead of it, before it becomes watery, I'm adding the onions and the garlic to the pan first. And again, allow this to cook until the mushrooms become brown. I'm gonna add salt and pepper in it now. I'm using sea salt, by the way. You can also, if you really wanna get funky with it, adding a little bit of vegetable stock to this would be really good as a separate dish. But because this is gonna be a quesadilla, it's just making sure that we don't have too much moisture in the mushrooms because then the wrap is going to fall apart and nobody likes a messy quesadilla. We want it to be nice and firm and sturdy. Now the mushrooms are ready to be taken out. It only took about three minutes for it to cook. So that's awesome. I'm gonna take the mushrooms out of the pan, place it to the side, and start to prepare the wrap. The pan is already preheated. I'm gonna spray some more coconut oil spray. Add one flour to whole wheat flour tortilla. I actually prefer sprouted grain tortillas would be a better option, 
but because we didn't have any sprouted green tortillas we're going for the whole wheat tortilla instead so now the burner is on medium low spread a little bit of hummus onto the bottom cheese can't have a quesadilla without cheese portobello mushrooms add some hummus in the middle avocado goes on top another wrap goes on top of this all right so sprinkle some cheese on top obviously what I have is regular cheese but again if you're vegan you're gonna go for vegan cheese and if you're already filling my recipe if you're liking this please go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to the channel we need some engagement you guys because with YouTube after a while if there's not enough engagement the channel will eventually disappear so if this is a channel that you don't want to disappear please hit the like button okay now what I'm doing is squeezing now let's put this ah yep perfect see how nice and brown and crunchy that looks on one side add a little bit of onion salt on top just to add a little bit of flavor to this quesadilla since I'm not using butter quesadilla is ready it didn't take that long to prepare all right Let's take this out place this on the cutting board yep that's it that's it Oh, this looks so good. Look at the cheese getting ready to come out. Ooh. This looks good. Mmm. Again, you can substitute it with meat instead of mushrooms and definitely enjoy. If you can fit this into your macros, of course, we know anything that's outside of your of your meal plan is considered a cheat meal. But if you could fit this into your macros and take away a meal and replace this, this will be an awesome replacement. Very satisfying and different. It's well worth it using the onion and the garlic and the parsley. Everything comes very well together. And the onions, adding the onion salt on top definitely enhance the flavors. So this completes my video. Thank you so much for tuning in. And again, my name is Magda Civil. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me. I'll see you next time. Take care. This is really good. Mmm. 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 She don't know I got the trap going on like, oh, they don't know I got the trap going on like.